ओम शांति वेलकम टू टेंथ ऑफ नवम्बर कॉलेज बसिंग इज आर माइंड कंट्रोलिंग अस और आर वी कंट्रोलिंग द माइंड हुज वी ओवर हियर दैट इज द सोल इट सेल्फ एंड इज द सोल कंट्रोलिंग द माइंड और इज द माइंड कंट्रोलिंग द सोल हुज मोर पावरफुल वी कैन एक्सप्लोर दिस इन अ बिट इन दिस ब्यूटिफुल ब्लेसिंग एंड गॉड सेज इन दिस ब्लेसिंग दैट मे यू बी अ मास्टर ऑल माइटी अथॉरिटी हु अटेन्स द अथॉरिटी ऑफ द किंगडम ऑफ द वर्ल्ड दैट मीन्स हेवन ऑन अर्थ विच गॉड इज क्रिएटिंग नाउ बाय हैविंग द अथॉरिटी ऑफ सेल्फ सोमिटी those who are not in control of themselves cannot enter the gates of heaven how many of us are in control of ourselves in this world how many of us are in control of our thoughts our words our actions our senses how many of us are in control of all these five senses if we have no control and these five senses are controlling us that means the conscious mind is more active and the subconscious that is the soul is less active automatically we have lost the war so god says those who have the authority of self sovereignty at this time at this particular time that is those who become conquerors of the physical organs that is the five senses can attain the authority of the kingdom of the world imagine kingdom of the world imagine the king he is not in control of his thoughts words and actions so he is not supposed to say certain things through his mouth but he ends up saying those things and starts hurting people around him in the kingdom how would that work for him in the long term yes exactly so only those who have the authority of self sovereignty that means they have control over the self can attain the authority of the kingdom of the world so check am i this soul that i am the master of my soul powers that means i decide what my mind thinks i decide what my intellect thinks or guides me towards and i decide what my habits are supposed to be as compared to my habits controlling me which are like bad habits or impure habits does my mind control me or do i control my mind this is such a big question so we generally say that uh, my mind is not in control of me but we don't understand that who is that me who is supposed to control the mind so here we understand that it is a soul which is supposed to control the mind or we generally say that mind is like a horse an untamable horse it's going to run everywhere right so who's supposed to tame it and that is where the soul comes in so if i am a soul and i am not focused upon my physical body and my physical bodily attainments that means the name the fame the money the wealth the power the post and the position then if anybody insults me on the basis of these few things which we just discussed my mind is not going to get weary my mind is not going to get disturbed if anything comes in all of these areas whether it's physical looks whether it's power post position funds if there is a loss in these areas of my life physical health my mind shall not flutter that means i am not dependent upon these areas for my happiness for my joy for my contentment for feeling stable and that is what we learn in brahma kumaris that how do we differentiate between these two things because i am a soul i am not somebody who is defined by the physical realities around me So God says, "Does my mind control me, or do I control my mind? My sanskars do not pull me to themselves, do they? That means my sanskars, my habits of, let's say, eating too much, sanskars of finding faults in others, sanskars of comparing, sanskars of sleeping late at night, sanskars of waking up late in the morning, sanskars of untimely eating, untimely sleeping." untimely or let's say no discipline in a life if those sanskars are pulling me to themselves then am i as self sovereign that means to have control over myself no the stage of one who has a right of self sovereignty is constantly that of a master or mighty authority one who has no power missing you know that is the highest stage that means there are eight powers which are the minimum powers but there are so many other powers which we are supposed to have so there's a book on powers in brahma kumaris we can go through them also and to learn the basic powers the eight powers we we need to actually take the seven day course and meditate on supreme creator to know more about it to visit a brahma kumari center and learn about this om shanti of this